Hello everyone, it's Brian with Tiny Crypto Blog. Welcome to the weekly summary for Friday, December 29th, 2023. This will be the last weekly summary of the year. And it's going to be short, simple, and sweet. Uh, it's been quite a quite a week, quite a year. Uh, so let's jump into it. Price recap. Prices went sideways with downward bias. I think we're going to be getting the first window of opportunity in the next week for ETF rulings, Bitcoin ETFs, if they're going live. I think if that gets the go, we will definitely see upside bias as people know for sure that this is going to happen and they will want to front run now that they have a much more guaranteed upside. Uh Yes, for 2023, 2024, we'll see where it goes. Next thing I was going to cover, built on Bitcoin. There's been a lot of news with Bitcoin in the last week or two. There's been news about how the fees, the transaction fees, both for fighting for block space and also with the layer two applications, um, I lost my notes, but I'll go off of memory. You have stacks. You have the ordinals, which is the equivalent of like a Bitcoin NFT, essentially, BRC20 tokens, and a few other applications, Lightning Network, Noster. These are things that are bringing revenue to miners. Uh, it was just this past, oof, within the last week or so, that the old slush pool, the brains pool, mined a block where normally just with the block reward at 6.25 Bitcoin, with all of the added fees, the entire block reward was like 13 and change. Huge. I think it was the third largest block reward for Bitcoin for this year. And also the mempool, which is I will bring up no BS Bitcoin while we're at it. Uh, the mempool, which is essentially sort of like all the backlog transactions, that is very full. Let's see if we can get to the weekly news. Okay, here we go. Hash rate currently up to... 535 exohash. And this, I'll open up a separate tab for that. We've got Noster, Lightning Network. In which case, you've got increased activity. Now, when people have been building on that, Noster, which is, that is not what we wanted. People are picking up their use on that. And then with mining, Here's a little stat, if I can bring it up, worth, worth noting. If you go back, if I can go back and figure out how, in the midst of a bear, okay. Forget about it. That's going up too. And we are done presenting. So there's a lot going on with Bitcoin. We'll see where it goes. We'll see what the narratives come out. And again, more apologies. It's just one of those quiet weeks. Let's just get right into it. 2023 recap. Here we go. 2023 was an interesting year. It definitely was. We had legal rulings. We had a turnaround in psychological market sentiment. We had prices uh, ending their sandpaper stage and moving with an upside bias. The Bitcoin ETFs have brought new money, but also uh, new realms of regulatory capture, new risk vectors with capture by institutional money with influence. Uh, it'll probably bring in a new crowd of 
participants, even though it'll only be through derivative products. So we'll see where that goes. This year, we've seen exchanges being taken down. We've seen rulings from the fallout of 2022 and 2023 get cleared out. Terra Luna is still in motion, but FTX got cleared out. We had a settlement with uh, Celsius. There's been a settlement with BlockFi. A lot of bankruptcies have moved through the courts, a lot of rulings. And it's been a year of endure and grind and make it through. But that's what a bear market is. It's sideways. It's boring. But that's how it goes. And if you were stacking, you were able to get in some good prices. I mean, prices are relative. If you were looking at this from a price level of 2016 or 17, this is extremely high. If you look at it from a price level of 2022, you're still getting in at a bargain. If you look at it from maybe 10 years from now, you might wish you had gotten anything. What will 2024 bring? I don't know. But you can find out because Keith and I uh, of Crypto Coin Mindset, we are going to be doing our 2024 preview coming up. Uh, what is New Year's? New Year's Day on Monday. So check it out. It'll be broadcast on YouTube as well as uh, Keith's YouTube channel, Crypto Coin Mindset. Give him a follow. And yeah, we'll cover a lot of ground. Should be interesting. So I'm going to cut it there. Short, sweet, simple. Hope you're doing well. Hope the bug that's going around isn't biting you. And with that, oh, you can also follow the channel at all the sites listed in the show notes. And with that, be well, everyone. Talk to you soon. See you next year. Bye-bye.